Now let's talk about the CSIR because they're 60 years old, the journey so far, the high points, the low points, and if you like the forward march after 60, what's there to know? I've been joined by Professor Victor K. Ajiman. He's the Director General of CSIR. He's not here alone, uh, backed by a very powerful woman as well, Professor Mary Obodai, Director of CSIR Food Research Institute. Professors, welcome. Good morning. Thank One you. day when I grow up, I want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations and happy 60th to all of us and especially to you. How does it feel to be 60, uh, to be the, the boss, I'll start with you, Prof, a boss of an organization that's 60 years? It certainly has a lot of history, doesn't it? Yes, thank you very much for having us on your show. Um, the CSIR is mm. the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. Right. And we are uh, 60 years. CSIR was created by the, uh, His Excellency Osajifu, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Okay. You know, a year after independence, mm. he felt that there was the need, science and technology mm. will be the driving force right. for socioeconomic development in the country. Okay. So what he did was that there were a number of scientific institutions. Mm. He brought them all together okay. and called it the National Research Council. Okay. And now within the same period, he formed the uh, Ghana Academy of Learning. Okay. And in 1963, what he did was that he brought the two bodies together. Mm. Uh, Council, National Council, mm. and the Learning okay. to be Ghana Academy of Sciences. Mm. Mm. But in 68, okay. after the overthrow, mm -hmm. it was again separated. And okay. that is when we had the Council for Scientific and Industrial uh, research. Okay. Uh, we have 13 institutes. Mm -hmm. um, six of them are in the agricultural sector. Okay. Two of them are in environment and natural resources. Okay. Three are in industry and manufacturing. Okay. And that includes food research. Okay. And two are knowledge-based okay. uh, system. Okay. Because, and it was so broad that every aspect of Ghanaian life was covered by the institutions that were created. Right. And the idea was that we were going to, and that's why the vision was to use science and technology mm -hmm. for wealth creation. Okay. So our main purpose is to create wealth in the country. Okay. And not only that, we need to uh, accelerate mm -hmm. the socioeconomic development right. of the country. That's our mission. Right. And so we are, when you talk about prosperity, mm -hmm. it's about CSIR. Prof, let me come to you, Professor Obodai. You are in charge of food research, a very important part of, of our lives. Uh, we eat to live, uh, not, not the other way around. Would you say that during the 60-year period, the Food Research Institute has been able to, I've seen improved seeds and all of that, uh, but would you say that you have been able to achieve your targets in terms of enriching the people and making sure that everybody is well-fed? Well, um, that has a number of issues in terms of addressing that, right. that mm -hmm. question. But we have come up with a lot of technologies okay. that run from roots and tubers to grains and legumes mm -hmm. to fish and also to dairy products. Okay. So a lot of technologies have been developed and right. a lot of products have been produced mm. for the Ghanaian public. Okay. We are available for training mm. and that we have done a lot. Okay. Okay, we have various... Um, areas in which we work okay. and we have we have our doors open right. we run training programs we run um, educational programs okay. to train people mm. as to what we have come up with and over the years we have over 22 technologies that we have developed right, right from uh, like i said roots and tubers but it runs from f um, food safety mm. to um to microtoxins in foods okay. we also run issues like um value addition because we were primarily set up to look at post harvest losses okay. how we deal with post harvest okay, losses right. mm. because you all you and i know that we we produce a lot but a lot goes to waste absolutely and so we're set up to add value to our products okay that's why i said from roots and tubers right down to cereals and grains okay. we've come up with value addition mm. and that is in, in which areas for example give me top three uh, if you will mm. just a quick um, this thing. If you've eaten kinke okay. this morning, mm. it means that you're, you are eating a product from CSIR. Okay. 
almost 70% of the maize in Ghana is by improved varieties from CSIR. Okay. If you are eating cassava, oh, okay. cowpea, that's gari and beans, okay. they are all products from CSIR, improved right. okay. products. It could okay. be drought tolerant, it mm -hmm. could be um, <laughs> everything. Okay. So people do not know CSIR, okay. but we impact on every aspect of our life. Okay. It, what, one, one critical point that comes to mind, and practically, Prof, as you said, like we produce more and oftentimes we get a lot more of them going waste. And that's been a problem. Look, when you have tomato in season, for example, you go to the market, excess because of perhaps the improved seeds you have. Onions, excess. But then the season goes off and then we're back to the same point. We can't find them. It go, becomes expensive. Cost of living gets high. Do we have the answer? Yes, we do. Okay. Because the technologies are available okay. for people to come and receive them and use them. So why don't they come? Um, they come, yeah. but the numbers are not as we expect. Okay. And you, as you know, um, it, it's just not getting the technology. You need to have the infrastructure. Right. You need warehouses. You okay. need good transport. You okay. need a tra transport. You need vehicles. And for improved seeds, we okay. have them. Okay. So it's a whole mm. value chain, right, right. from the, the soil okay. to the table. Mm. There's a whole list of actors. That, that, must, be, that must be that. Exactly. Prof, does your work stop, Prof. Sajima, does your work stop at just researching, bringing out the findings, and making a recommendation? Does it stop there? No. Oh. As uh, Prof. Voda said, we, our research is what we, we term it value chain research. Okay. Six of the institutes produce something called, uh, um, have what we call the farm gate okay. uh, production. Those okay. are the agric. They okay. produce raw materials. Okay. Then we have the manufacturing okay. and industry, like food research, okay. building and road research, industrial research. Mm. They take it on and process the food okay. for that. And then we have the environmental. They look at the effects water research, forestry okay. and all that, soil okay. research, they mm. look at the impact. And then we have two bodies. One is called CSIR Plus. Okay. And that is a, is a, a company that CSIR has formed that actually is in the process of developing spin-off okay. companies from our technologies. Okay. And currently we have four spin-off companies. Yes. Wow. CSIR. One is called Circool. Okay. We produce water. Water, okay. And I'm sure you should be using Circool. Of course, I've, I've had a taste of Circool. Yes. Mm. The second one is what we call Ghana Sumatra. Okay. Almost all the oil palm that is grown in the country, okay. the seeds are produced by Ghana Sumatra, which is a CSR spin-off okay. company. We have a concierge lodge, okay. which is a... Uh, a lodge for housing. Okay. Uh, 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 yes, and then most importantly, CSIR has developed what we call Pozzolana cement. Okay. That uses uh, clay, cal calcine clay, okay. to really subsidize for okay. cement. Mm. And that is 20% cheaper than the cement that we use. Okay. Secondly, you have cracks in building. Pozzolana cement is supposed to address those cracks, water in Accra, you find well, One critical thing that's yeah. come to mind, Prof, I, and I want to ask Prof, Professor uh, Obodai this one. The fall armyworm has been a very big issue, a thorny one, of course. Farmers labor and, and on your screens you can tell uh, is there. They're complaining all the time. Is it possible to develop improved seeds that will have, if you like, the defenses against fall armyworm, for example? Yes. It is possible because I know that Crops Research Institute, our sister institute, is doing some work on coming up with varieties that will be resistant to the fall armyworm. And we have other institutions engaging with us to come up with improved mm. seeds that are um, pest resistant. Okay. Like Prof said, right. yes, we have pest resistant, we have drought resistant. Okay. These are, tech these are um, breeding work that mm. we do to ensure that the improved varieties that we have okay. are resistant to drought, they are resistant to um, okay. pests, okay. and they are res resistant so, so to So your offices diseases. are open. People can walk in and, and assess your services. Exactly. How expensive are you? <laughs> oh, we are, we are there for everyone. There and for so everyone. depending on what you want. Okay. Okay. Until recently, okay. we were conducting what we call uh, research for public good. 
So we were not charging okay. Okay. anything. Okay. But now we have moved to another phase where uh, we're trying to be self uh, sustaining as far as research is concerned. Okay. And we have uh, 165 technologies okay. which the industry can access. Okay. And we are in discussion with the AGI, the uh, PEF, Private Enterprise right. Foundation, okay. to utilize the. Great. Qu quickly, let's talk about the anniversary. Of course, there's a, a program that's coming up. Let's quickly talk about it in a minute. What can you tell us, Professor Bodai? Okay, the theme for anniversary is CSR, 60 years of research with impact okay. for sustainable development. Mm. And it's a one-year program. We started in May, and we're going to end in March. Okay. We have so far conducted various um, open days okay. of the institutions, mm -hmm. and we have had 10 open days for our research institutions. Okay. We have three more coming up one in on the 25th of October okay. and two others in November. Okay. We have conducted the um, so they science that's Thursday. Quiz. Yes. Great. That is for science and technology policy research institute okay. separately. Okay. And we have conducted a science quiz. We had five senior high schools okay. come and compete. Achimota emerged the winners. Okay. And um, we had WAS um, St. John's, we had um, Presec okay. and Accra Girls. Okay. And we have a fundraising dinner coming up on Friday. <coughs> we have this sports, Friday? Yes. Okay. For um, fundraising. Right. Yes. And then we have sports and games on okay. Saturday. Okay. And then we have an international conference coming off in February. Okay. And then a grand finale of a Thanksgiving service in March. Great. So, so uh, Thursday, we are having uh, an open day. One yes, more for at the, at the Institute. Uh, Science and Technology right. Policy Research Okay. Institute. And where is it located? <laughs> where are we located? It's you, at you're the going to guide CSIR. Us. CSIR. Okay. Yeah, what for those, are, you know, what for those who don't know, Institute? how do they get there? Um, it's, um, you know, the Close CSIR. To Alliance what are Frances. Close to Alliance Francais. Yes, right. Then you find your way around the NACOP yeah. area and yes, you find yes, your way. Yes, that's opposite the NACOP. Absolutely. So NACOP, tomorrow mm -hmm. we're gathering the 8 a.m. That's when we're starting the, re the, the open day, yeah, right? 25th. That's yes. on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. Uh, we're starting the open day. 18. Great. Absolutely. And then on Friday, there's a, a dinner. Yes. Uh, fundraising. Who can attend? Can we attend? Oh, we, are we are invited. We are invited. Great. Yes. Absolutely. And yes. Saturday, we're, we're being sporty. And then in February, we'll have the international, uh, international conference. conference. Thank you very much, Professor uh, Victor Ajiman. He's the Director General of the CSIR, the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. Also, Professor Mary Obudai, he's Director of uh, CSIR Food Research Institute. Thank you very much. Happy anniversary to you. you.